Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have the Teco Prime. Now, this is a, a fist based weapon, I guess. This build requires one forma. Pretty cheap. I just put a dash here and I'm all set. Pretty good. Now attack speed. Pretty basic. Blocking angle, small but understandable. Critical chance however is pretty high. The multiplier even so. The range is okay, surprisingly. Status chance looks pretty small, but doable. But since this is the, well, uh, signature weapon of Atlas or Atlas Prime, if he has it, you'll get more status chance. Which is why I'm not using him for now, because it might make it unfair for the build like more powerful than it is next is this weapon mainly does slash damage slam attacks are pretty good too but I'll leave that up to you of course we're going to test this weapon without any mods and who better to start with one of the toughest enemies in the game which is the corrupted heavy gunner the reason why they're tough is because of their armor. So here we go. It didn't do much, but look at the slash and the critical. Look at that. You can already see it doing damage and that's impressive. In my opinion, that's very impressive. Now just to prove to you, Valkyr has no passive that makes her melee weapons better and I have no mods or arcanes to increase the damage just to show you how effective the build would be. <clears throat> now let's go to a more standard build. Standard meaning affordable build. Anyone can get it. So here we go. Now, as for the stances, I personally recommend Gaia's tra Tragedy. Even though it says slow and powerful, the build will help it. Because Fracturing Wind and Seismic Palm, I don't know, they're just harder to control. For me, anyway. Moving on, first we have Pressure Point, which is standard for every melee weapon. True Steel to increase critical chance, Organ Shatter, critical damage, Berserker for speed with each critical hit, and since we have high critical chances, well, you're looking at a uh, speedy weapon. Voltaic Strike and Fever Strike, I just put it for corrosive damage because we're going to test it out against the armor. Corrosive is good against armored units. Drifting contact for combo duration and status chance. And we have condition overload. Melee damage per status. Now let's test it out. And here we go. Pretty good, right? Now I understand. It's hard to believe because they're not moving. So here we go. Oh, 
Well, I think it's sort of demonstrated. Their critical chance and the slash damage offer very impressive damage. Sorry about that, that was very sloppy of me. That's the thing about fist weapons, it's a bit difficult to control, for me anyway. Now, we'll go to a more viral build. A viral build is, well, good against health-based units. No need for armor. There we go. And just to switch it up, we'll try Seismic Palm right here. And who better to test them on than the Corpus? Because they have no armor, just health. Here we go. Huh. Ironic. In earlier missions, I have difficulty with this stance, but huh, I guess it's working now. And here we go. Sorry. See that? The slash and the viral damage combined with status lowers the health where you can kill them. Now with this settled, we go to the more expensive builds. Expensive but worth it in my opinion. Let's uh, switch the stance because I feel like I got lucky. Now the only thing expensive would be the Prime Fever Strike, Prime Pressure Point, and Blood Rush. Now the Prime mods can be acquired from Barroketeer. I don't know when he offers these mods but when they do, I advise getting them. And farming Ducats. Lots of Ducats. Uh, next is Blood Rush, which can be bought from, well, from the trading, like uh, trade from other players. I don't know how much, but you can. Or you can farm it in Lua, a spy mission. Details about the mods and weapon parts will be in the description. Uh, if you're confused about stuff. Oop, uh, what? What element am I on? I'm on viral. Okay. Since I'm on viral, let's test it out. And here we go. Looks pretty fancy. So on the lower right, the higher the combo, the more critical chance you get. So that's always good. As you can see, effective. Now that we're almost at the end of the video, I know, time flies, huh? Next would be the, well, the corrupted, meaning we have to go corrosive damage. Uh, let me see, let me just, there we go, electricity and poison is corrosive and ice and poison is viral now you can have gas oh, sorry gas damage which is fire and poison but it's not that good for damage I mean I'm sure someone will disagree but that's the case oh god 
Sorry, I'm I'm burping over here. This time we'll use Atlas, or in this case, Atlas Prime. Now Atlas Prime will increase the status chance. Let me just uh, there we go. See that? 64. You can just imagine the damage. And here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Need more convincing? Sure, I can do that. Unpause it. And here we go. This time I'll use my powers. I think that's the best place to end the video now. Thank you guys so much for watching and as usual I hope this video helps you. And if you're interested please like and subscribe if you're interested it really helps out. And as usual I'll see you in the next video.